Hello students, Instructor Pamela here. I would like to talk about overall coding and what to expect as far as your jobs in your upcoming um, careers as well as understanding how you're taught coding in an educational setting as well as of course um, preparing for your national certification exam. First off in education you learn the entire uh, coding systems from the ICD-9 system coding as well as the HIPPICS 1 and 2 which includes your CPT book and then the actual HIPPICS book. So with that being said you are going to be receiving different coding scenarios all across the board. Now is that how it's going to be at your job? Absolutely not. You will be coding the same things over and over and over again because you're going to be working for a particular specialty. Okay? So again, education and how it's going to be presented to you in your job are two different, um, two different aspects. So when you're learning, just keep open and remember it's all over the place as far as the coding scenarios because they're trying to educate you on all areas of coding. Okay? Also, when you get to your jobs, you are going to be fully trained on the, on the systems that that particular facility works on. You will also be receiving cheat sheets of what codes that will be used for particular services or procedures, as well as the ICD-9 codes. And if you're working for an outpatient facility that uses the HICPICS codes, which includes all durable medical equipment, you will also be notified of what codes to use those for um, as well. So again, separate your job because it's going to be much easier, straight lined. You're going to understand what you're coding on a daily basis opposed to learning in school. When you get to your job uh, for the interview, you're going to be prepared because you're going to apply for the position. So let's say you apply for a radiography center. We know that's outpatient services. So you'll be working with your CPT book in the 70,000 sections, which is um, the radiology codes. And then also any um, ICD-9 codes that comes from your volumes 1 and 2 in your ICD-9 book. So when you go for your interview, you're going to want to talk about all of the different um, services they provide in radiography centers, such as your MRIs, your DEXA scans, your CAT scans, your x-rays. But also make sure to use the medical terminology words. For example, instead of saying MRI, you want to say magnetic renaissance imaging. You want to use those medical terminology words as you sell yourself in your interview. So now when it comes to educational purposes, just remember if you're coding for inpatient um, scenario, you always need an ICD-9 code volumes 1 and uh, 2, always and forever. You may or may not have an inpatient surgery, so if that's the case, if you don't have any inpatient surgeries, you do not need a volume 3 code from the ICD-9 book, just the diagnosis codes which creates your diagnosis related group that's generated from the computer. If you're coding for an outpatient facility, always remember you need that ICD-9 code again from volumes 1 and 2. Always code a volumes 1 and 2 code from your ICD-9 book because it states the diagnoses. Every claim needs a diagnosis. And then your outpatient claims needs the diagnoses and the outpatient service or the surgery, which you will obtain from your CPT book and again, any durable medical equipment that is offered from that facility, you will code that from your HICPICS book. So, remember your HICPICS book and your CPT book, they go hand in hand for most outpatient services and procedures, and you need that ICD-9 code from, for the diagnoses. And inpatient, you always need your diagnoses code, volumes one and two, and if a surgery was performed, it has to match the primary diagnosis or admitting diagnosis but it's not required. All right, so again, I just wanted to give you another explanation, clarification of how the coding goes in education and how it's going to be in your job. And for your test, process of elimination approach. And we'll get more into that in the upcoming weeks. All right, thank you very much students for listening as always. Until next time, Instructor Pamela here, Journey Well.